there's a lot of excitement at the moment to come off gas and there are a lot of government incentives for removing gas appliances. Now the only issue with this is that the contractors that are doing this work are leaving the building envelope as it was and they're not sealing up potential avenues for air leakage and insulation consistency issues in our homes after these appliances have been removed from our home. Gas ducted heating itself inherently has huge problems with air tightness associated to our homes in the return but also around the ducted heating outlets. It can be very costly to repair ducted heating outlets in the floor where we might have tazzy oak floorboards or even tiles that we don't have anymore trying to repair those holes in the floor perfectly. This is a home that's just replaced its ducted heating system, replaced it with a couple of split systems. Let me show you where the ducted heating system was and what we're left with now. We're left with this big hole potentially where rats and even cats can get underneath the house or even possums potentially. We want to get this closed off. This is something that we'll have to do. It doesn't really impact the overall building performance of the home that much though. But as you can see, we've got two ducts that are connected to all these outlets throughout the home, including the ducted heating return. We're gonna show some solutions of how we can get those resolved. In this particular home, we also had a gas heater inside a chimney. We've got a really cute little solution to how that might be able to retrofit it to something actually quite nice for a homeowner to have. So let's go in and start with the ducted heating outlets themselves. Like I said before, Floorboards are extremely costly to repair. Furniture can be difficult to move to actually get at them to get a carpenter to repair these floorboards and get the same finish that you've got in your home. So we're gonna basically reinstate what we had here originally, uh, but just make it sealed with a bit of an R value inside the actual duct opening and sealing around the actual outlet itself using our U-Ripper foil tape that's easy to cut and easy to apply and should last the test of time. This is available on the Tight House website. It's a very malleable and easy to apply tape. And then we've got the, the foam, which is a recycled product made here in Australia that just can be purchased online from Tight House and just pops straight in to this outlet, which will seal it up. So when installing this tape in a carpeted area, you want to be getting a connection to your floorboards. Now in this particular situation, it looks like the underlay is quite well glued to the actual floorboards. So we're just sealing to the underlay, going as deep as possible because it's all concealed underneath the carpet. And we're getting an air tightness from the underlay, which is glued to the floorboards to the actual boot. These are all a standard size boot. We've got cutouts for the a larger boot, but they're not very common. So this is a, another perfect example of a ducted heating system and its return. We've made numerous videos about how leaky these returns can be. But in this situation where we've removed the ducted heating system, everything stays as is. Nothing gets removed or remediated to be airtight. So this is the system that was in place. We're going to have to now, now that we've had the ducted heating system removed, pull this out and just reinstate an air barrier so that this cupboard is now going to be airtight and won't have, won't be cold and start growing mold. So this is basically a hole directly through the floor and it's a place where rats and mice will definitely reside and uh, we need to reinstate an air barrier here so that we can get this cupboard airtight. So this isn't very common, but in some homes, you've got a chimney. Uh, you're also going to have a gas heater sitting inside that chimney, or it might just be a chimney on its own. In this particular situation, we've had the gas heater that was in here replaced with a split system. We're gonna be turning this into a little nook for the dog to sleep. So we're gonna be insulating all sides with a nice XPS foam that'll give us a good R value of insulation inside this little enclosure. So in order to actually stick all the pieces of XPS inside this little enclosure, we're using a Toolbox HB Fuller product, also made in Australia. We'll end up finishing uh, the perimeter of this little enclosure also with an architrave. 
and, and a bit of cork to get it nice and airtight. The other thing to make sure of when you get your gas heater removed from your chimney, that any uh, gas lines that are running into your chimney, that they're capped off on the outside and not inside the chimney. We've got some big gaps and cracks inside this fireplace that we're gonna seal up. We're using HB Fuller Low Expanding Spray Foam, but it's also available from the Tight House shop. So it's amazing what XPS can do. Bit of R value, this is an airtight board. We've still got to cork all the joins in this and then put an architrave and seal around these as well. 